Hi there. Quickie if you don't mind. Before we get into the shooting I just want to point you to the Muzzle Energy Calculator from ARPC. This is a free app available on the Play Store for Android users. It allows you to calculate the muzzle energy of your air rifle quickly and effectively using only the pellet weight in grains and the pellet velocity in feet per second. Boom! It shows you your muzzle energy. This is especially useful if you're a sub-12 shooter in the UK where you need to make sure you stay within the legal limits. It also links out to arpc.co.uk which is a free website, has some additional downloads, tools and information and general good stuff. Check it out on the Play Store. Welcome back. We're back up the grain store. Um, this is a different arable farm. It's a new permission. So we've got three barns that are all side by side. We've got an office and seating area. This one in the middle, which is a grain store. And there's a one to the left hand side of that, which is a workshop. Just have a look around in the grain store and you can see from the image here, all this is grain stock and the rats are crawling around on top of that. Now it's not a particularly big grain store, but there are a lot of rats in there and you'll see later on the footage how they're coming out of a hole in the wall almost like they're on a conveyor belt just churning out I don't really like shooting rats when they're upper height on a grain stock like this because it can be difficult and possibly even dangerous to climb up onto the grain stock to retrieve them you can't leave them up there so there's a the first one down good headshot there happy with that I do retrieve him, what I do is I get up against the wall so I can hold on to something and I climb up the grain pile. So if I do sink in it, I can pull myself back out. It may be dark in here mate, but you can't hide from the infrared. I'm just going to go and punch him in the face with a GSP exact. You ready? Go! Wallop! Oh, and while we're on that subject, you have one too. Not bad, straight in there, knocked a few out. Now I break the pattern here, don't I? Got myself a rat trick there. This time, I miss. Now, only when I'll play the video back, I say I'm a little too low. I'll be back. All goes quiet in there. Can't think why. Some idiot out there with an air gun. Never mind. Just nip next door into the workshop and see what's happening in there. And I'm not in there long, and I spot a rat up in the rafters, thinking he's safe. Looking down at me, as I look up at you with an FX impact. Blow my kiss and foam some lead. You can have that one for free. Come on. It doesn't fall down. He gets me back by doing a headstand and pulling his brains down the back of that girder. Quick scan along, there's nothing else there. As I pan back, he's sticking his bum up in the air at me. Rude. I've got another one right in the corner, look at this. He's facing the wrong way. He's sticking his fart pipe in my direction. If you're not gonna turn around, I'm gonna tuck one under your rib cage. Like this. More than happy to do that, trust me, with these two twos. They don't half hit hard, don't they? You know what? Have another one. That's him out. This one gets his own back as well, doesn't he? He stays up there. I had a message to the farm manager and say, I'm really sorry, but there's a rat stuck up in the roof. Can you get him down, please? He said it was no problem, but he's probably thinking, for Christ's sake. Now, back in the green store, I noticed a couple of, should we say, issues with my shots. Um, and you'll see what I mean here. Take a shot on this rat, but the pellet seems to fly straight over the top. Watch where the marker is and you'll see where the pellet goes. So I brushed his hair rather than break his head. So I threw some stones down on the ground and the idea is I'm going to take a couple of shots, check the zero. I noticed the zero was slightly out. I don't understand why. So I rechecked that with some targets outside and took a shot on a bit of stone. Happy with that. Hit the corner of the storm where I aimed. Let's get back to doing some rat shoots. And as the dust settles, look who should appear. The one I missed last time. He sticks his head out the hole. So I turn his head inside out. Tell your mates, we don't want your sort around here. Now 
Now as it's time to pack up, typical, look what happens. A rat factory turns on and a whole lot of rats just start coming out of the wall, one after another after another. I packed the rifle away at this point. I thought, I'll go and have one last look just before I put the thermal away and see what's going on. It's as if they knew, isn't it? They must have known I packed the rifle up. It was absolutely peeing it down outside. So I wasn't going to go back and get the rifle. Left it in the car. I'll be back up there soon. Get some more of these little scaly tails bagged up. Okay, dairy farm. The rats are coming back thick and fast. Let's see if we can get some nailed. The rats are coming in thick and fast. They've realised it's suddenly cold outside. They're freezing their nuts off and they want to come in when it's a lot warmer. So, got up there, double checked, triple checked the zero, all good. Okay, I don't mind admitting I bottled the shot. I'm only 12 yards away and if I hit that tyre, I don't want a ricocheted pellet hitting me in the face. I'm way too handsome for that. This one's a different story however. In the middle of the grain store, he gets anchored. Nice high body shot, switches them off. There's usually rats down here, have a quick look. Nothing shown his face. I pan back across, contemplate the second shot. Give it a second, no. Proper dead. Have a final pan around in here before I bugger off outside. What's that? I thought I saw an eye under there, but it's the steel on the on the bucket. Outside in the cattle barn, spot these two having a drink. Now take the shot in the first one, hit him high body shot. Take the shot in the second one, which I haven't included, but it goes over the top. And the same happens here, and you'll see in slow motion what I'm talking about. Straight over the top. He's like, sod this for Game of Soldiers, I'm off. Now that was the last shot of that session, I'm back out again a few nights later. That was the end of that session, this is a new session, same farm, same barn, same rake, what the hell, there's no food under there, there's piles of grain, seed, feed everywhere, but they play under here all night. It's almost like they know how difficult it is to get a good shot through there. However, I do it, high body shot, and he bolts off to the left. He's proper dead at this point. I go and grab him and when I retrieve him, not only has he got ear hole, nose hole, mouth hole and bum hole, but he's got a couple of pellet holes too. This is the not so fun side of ratting to be honest. You only got to get down on your knees, into gaps, nooks, crannies and pull the little sods out that you've shot. Especially when you're carrying a little bit of holiday weight still from Christmas 2010 <clears throat> just just a little bit round the middle anyway final sweep of the barn under the machinery under tables everywhere before we head outside and as soon as I get outside voila dirty rat sitting staring at Daisy he may be minding his own business, but that's not our problem. Stay there, Daisy. I think that's her name. Aren't all cows called Daisy? Just out in the main yard now. And, hello. What are you hiding for? That's going to give him a severe lead ache. What a thwack that made. 13.43 grain, 628 feet per second. Put a hole straight through him. He's fighting it though. I can't really get a second shot on there, but he just died anyway. He just wanted to make a point. Okay, let's get back and see Daisy. This is just to the side of a barn. Night night. Thanks for watching. 